and welcome back to the National Museum of the United States Army for another episode of Curator's Corner. We are here today inside the Army and Society Gallery discussing a unique hand-stitched item worn by a Nisei soldier or second generation Japanese American during World War II. Jimmy Mizote was born in Portland, Oregon on October 9, 1918. After joining the U.S. Army in January of 1942, he was sent to training in Texas, Kansas, and in Virginia. Several months after joining the Army, the Mizote family was forced to leave their Portland home because of Executive Order 9066. Signed by President Franklin Roosevelt, this order authorized the evacuation of all persons deemed a national security threat from their homes along the West Coast to relocation centers further inland. Over 100,000 men, women, and children of Japanese ancestry were forcibly incarcerated during World War II. The Mizote family spent the next three years incarcerated while their son Jimmy continued his stateside service in the Army. He was sent overseas to join the 100th Infantry Battalion and the 442nd Regimental Combat Team in January of 1945. While in the Army, Mizote carried with him a traditional Japanese senenbari, otherwise known as a thousand stitch belt. While incarcerated, his mother Kazumi had carefully stitched this belt for her only son. In the camps, some mothers used a linen cloth to stitch 1,000 knots using a single continuous thread, symbolizing their love, care, and wish that their sons be given protection, strength, and courage during the war. On Mizote senenbari, Kazumi carefully stitched the words from mother on the reverse. The custom of creating senenbari originated in Japan and was brought to America by Issei, or first-generation Japanese immigrants. Worn under the soldier's uniform, it was believed to confer courage, good luck, and immunity from injury. In 1946, Jimmy Mizote returned safely from the European theater and settled back in his hometown of Portland. He was very involved in the Japanese American community until his death in March 1976 at the age of 57. You can see Staff Sergeant Jimmy Mizote Sinembari and other Nisei related artifacts on display here at the museum. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Curator's Corner and if you wish to learn more, please visit our website.